structs allow you to store data of different types under a single name. We can create a struct in any file, but I'll be showing you the way I like to do it. Create a U object, call it structs, and any utility functions related to them inside this class. Create a struct by using the struct keyword. Prefix the struct with an F. You can have multiple variables, let's say name and points. It's not available in blueprint. That is where the U struct macro comes in. Add in blueprint type, control alt F11. It says we need a generated body. What we actually need is a U struct body. We still can't find it here. If you create a variable, you will be able to find it. That is because we did not expose the individual members. We can use our previous knowledge of U properties. Go ahead and build it. Now you'll be able to find it under the context menu. Get the members like this. You can give any initialization logic using the constructors. We'll use this function to demonstrate the access of members. We can use the dot operator to access the member and set it equal to whatever value you want. Now I can call this function in blueprint. We used uParamRef because if we did not, it would treat the reference as a return type in blueprint. You can think of enums as choices. They are used wherever you want to provide choices to your user. Enums used to be used to give names to integer constant. We can expand this a little bit by using enum class. We also give it an underlying type of unsigned 8-bit integers. These will be your enumerators. Close the editor and build. I don't get my match type. For this, we use the uenum macro with the blueprint type specifier. You should be able to find it. You can perform multi-way selection. You can iterate through the options and you can select different values, something like this. We use the struct and enum in another C++ class. You can include the two header files and you can perform any operation. Since we declared the enum as an enum class, we're using the scope resolution operator. This makes the enum much more safe compared to traditional integer constant based enums, mainly because they prevent naming conflicts.